Using the tube breaker, break both ends of sorbent tube 226-39 to provide an opening at least one half the internal diameter. Attach the open sorbent tube to the low flow holder, making sure the arrow is pointed toward the pump. Then attach a short tubing section, followed by a Swinex cassette with filter at the smaller end. Remember, a field blank should be collected for each sample set and should accompany the monitor during all periods except actual sampling. For more detailed information, watch our field blanks video. Attach the pump to the worker's belt toward their side or back. Attach the sample on or near the front of their shirt collar or as close as is practical to the nose and mouth of the employee. Position the excess tubing so that it does not interfere with the work of the employee. Turn on the pump and record the starting time to the minute and the initial flow rate. The counter records the minutes the pump is operating and should read zero when you start the test. You can enter the actual time on and off on the field pump data sheet. Observe the pump operation for a short time after starting to make sure it is operating correctly. Check to ensure hose connection is screwed tightly to eliminate leaks. It is a good idea to check the pump throughout the workday to make sure it is still working at the flow rate you set. Ensure that the sampler is still assembled properly and that the hose has not become pinched or detached from the media or pump. After sampling is completed, turn off the pump, record the time off on the field data sheet, Remove the sorbent tube and immediately cap both ends with the red caps provided. Label the sorbent tube to match the Swinex cassette with the filter. Please note, remove the filter from the Swinex cassette and place it into the 7 milliliter vial to be submitted to Galson Laboratories. A post calibration on the pump is recommended. Then, complete the chain of custody form. It is important that you include all the information requested in order to ensure the turnaround time of your samples. Remove the pink copy and keep this for your records. Send the white and yellow copies in with the samples to the lab in the large Ziploc bag. Please place any unused media in the Ziploc bag marked with the orange Unused Media label. This will indicate that these items should not be analyzed and will be properly disposed of by Galson Laboratories. Questions? Contact SGS Galson by phone or IH Live Chat 303-566-7000.